get ready with me for planting season. The optimum planting date for corn varies from year to year depending on weather conditions, but it usually falls somewhere between the last week of April and the first two weeks of May, and you don't really start to see any major decline in yield potential until you get into that last week of May. Late emerging corn plants struggle to compete for resources and their growth is reduced. If emergence is even further delayed, these plants won't produce a viable ear, but their presence in the field pulls resources away from other plants, reducing your overall yield potential. Late emerging corn plants are weeds. A couple of risk factors when you're planting too early into cool or wet ground. Um, compaction around the seed trench, which limits root growth. This is a more common concern in heavier ground, but sidewall compaction can occur anywhere if you're planting when it's too wet. I like to pick up some soil and try to form a ball, and if it sticks together, it's too wet to plant. Immediately after planting, seeds absorb water to start the germination process. If the water is too cold, it can kill the developing embryo and the seed will no longer be viable. It can also kill one side of the developing mesocotyl, which results in that corkscrew growth pattern we sometimes see. It's best to wait until you know temperatures in the soil zone will remain above 10 degrees Celsius for 48 hours after planting, if possible. A corn plant needs to accumulate approximately 150 heat units after planting to emerge. When temperatures are colder, seed will sit in the ground for, for longer, waiting to accumulate those heat units, um, so it'll be exposed to insect pressure for a longer period of time. Also, the two biggest early season pests that I see in this part of the world are seed corn maggot and wireworm, and both of these pests prefer cooler soil temperatures and are much more prevalent early in the season. If you're keen to get started planting early, there are several things you can do to minimize your risk. Um, don't plant if it's too wet, especially if it's early, there's no reason to be mudding stuff in. Um, seed sitting in cold, dry ground is really not a big problem. Seed sitting in cold, wet, wet ground is a problem. Plant a bit deeper if you can. Um, soil temperature fluctuates quite a bit more closer to the soil surface, um, especially if you are in lighter soil. Looking at the forecast, we're gonna be dealing with uh, pretty cold nighttime temps for a while this spring. Um, there's nothing we can really do about that, but planting a bit deeper, a half inch or so, um, protects your seed from the lowest air temperatures. So you can increase your planting population by five to 10% to account for just kind of the extra germination troubles you have uh, when you're planting super early, um, chilling a tree, insect pressure, et cetera. Um, also look at what hybrid you're planting. Um, so check, check your seed guide or talk to your agronomist about which hybrids are best suited to early planting. Um, while we don't see you know a ton of differences between hybrids when you get later into the season into kind of the end of May when soil temperatures are warm, um, when you're planting early, that's when those differences do show up. And it's just a matter of making sure you're picking the right hybrid. Um, if you are going to Kelb, uh, some of our best hybrids out of the ground, in my experience, would be 3648, 3955, uh, 4205, 4574, 4640, 4909. Um, if you're growing any of those, they, they would be really good options to go in the ground first. Thanks to genetic advancements over the years, um, hybrids on the market today are way more resilient than they used to be. So there's a ton of options available to you if you want to plant early, and chances are you have a hybrid in your shed that's up to the challenge. On average, the highest soybean yields are achieved from planting in the first two weeks of May, with no real yield advantage to planting any earlier. Soybean plants are more sensitive than corn to cool soil temperatures, but they have a greater ability to compensate for poor emergence, so sometimes it's better to take a risk planting early beans and wait for nice conditions to get your corn in. Hopefully we get something in the ground while the leaves are still in the playoffs.